be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel or you know hit the rumble button however you're watching us we certainly appreciate it and you doing stuff like that helps us fight off the dark cyber overlords at youtube so we appreciate any help you can give us there what we are going to do next is the top 10 most american modern songs so they are going to be songs that are the most american but they're the ones that were made in the modern era so without further ado let's go ahead and go to the top 10. The Tactics Top 10. All right, so for this top 10 of the top 10 most American songs, there are a couple of rules. Since this is the modern songs, it has to be written less than 50 years ago. So for us, that would mean the cutoff point would be 1961. So the reason that I did that is we could have done just a regular all-time kind of thing. But then, you know, you'll have like Battle Home of the Republic and Star Spangled Banner. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that list is predictable. And so I figured for entertainment purposes, primarily, I was going to go ahead and put together a list of modern American songs that have been done. And so for that, 50 years is the cutoff. It has to have been done at least in the past 50 years. Also, another rule, only one song per artist. Because there are several artists that do a lot of patriotic stuff, Big and Rich, Toby Keith, Lee Greenwood. These artists all could have had multiple songs on the list, but the thing is we limited it to specifically one song per artist. And then finally, it is the most American, not the most patriotic. Now, this isn't really a rule, just a distinction I wanted to give you before we start. That these are not necessarily the songs that are the most patriotic, even though there's going to be several very patriotic songs on here. They're the ones that are most American, that describe what it is to be American, what it's like to be a part of this country, kind of along those lines. So not necessarily the most patriotic, the most American songs in modern history. So let's go ahead and get started with our honorable mentions. Honorable mention. So I'm going to do the honorable mentions a little bit different. Normally when I do honorable mentions, I just spit them out there, but there were so many great songs. I decided to actually rank them this time. And so we're actually going to be doing 20. So bonus content. Yay. We're actually giving you 10 very patriotic songs and we are doing them in order. So I'm going to do these very quickly since they're uh, honorable mentions. Number 20, American Made by the Oak Ridge Boys. Look, this is a perfect song that epitomizes the idea of the American melting pot, that he gets his video games from overseas, and yeah, his girlfriend wears tight jeans that she got in Mexico and wears French perfume, but at the end of the day, that all comes together to create the American experience, and the fact that we invite other cultures to be a part of our culture is part of what makes America great. Number 19. God bless the USA, Lee Greenwood. Look, there's the reason it's the standard. It's one of the most patriotic songs of all time. There's a reason you hear it at every 4th of July barbecue. That alone makes it worthy of an honorable mention. Number 18, Two Soldiers Coming Home by Lori McKenna. I'm not going to give away any spoilers because this is one you probably haven't heard. It's from the movie Act of Valor. Fantastic song. Absolutely love it. And I'm not going to give away too much because it's kind of a story song and there's a little bit of a twist ending. But it really does show just how Americans absolutely love our troops. We love our service members, and this song is really a testament to that. Number 17, Ragged Old Flag by Johnny Cash, which is weird because it's not really a song in the traditional sense. It's more just Johnny Cash talking set to music, which I guess is a lot of Johnny Cash's songs, actually. Uh, but the flag's kind of a symbol for America as a whole. And the story of that song... I guess is that we've just been through a lot and we've been able to endure it kind of like the flag is. And so the flag is representative of America as a whole, that we've been through an awful lot, but guys, we have made it. Number 16, Living in America by James Brown. This one's just an outpouring of, man, life in America is pretty darn good. And the fact that it's in a Rocky movie certainly doesn't help. It's America street cred, as it were. Fantastic song, fun to listen to. James Brown is one of the great American singers and, and he talks about life being pretty good here, and I happen to agree with him. Number 15, Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival. Now, a lot of people will say that this is an anti-American song. No, it's not. The government is not America, and that's one thing that I have to get across to people over and over again, on the right and the left. 
They are critical of the government. They are critical of elites. They're critical of hypocrites that are saying, oh, well, you know, you need to give more. You need to, to give your life. You need to give more taxes, so on and so forth. But then when it comes to them, oh, no, no, I don't, I've, I've given enough. I really have. <laughs> and so uh, really the message of this song is elites suck. And that is a song that is, that is a theme that is very, very American. And so that definitely deserves an honorable mention. American Soul by Aaron Watson. This is another obscure one. You might not know it, might not be as familiar with this one. But if you ask me, the premise of this song is there is hope for the future because it starts out talking about a, a bunch of older men, which sometimes for good reason. But the, the story kind of goes that they're talking about how everything in America sucks now and it's not as good as it used to be. But this song, it pays homage to the past generation, but it also talks about, guys, there's reasons to be hopeful for future generations as well. And I think that that is true. I love this song. If you haven't heard Aaron Watson before, that whole album is good, but especially listen to the song American Soul. It's the, the album is actually named after that song. So American Soul by Aaron Watson. Number 13, Oki from Muskogee by Merle Haggard. Look, it's just about his hometown. It's where he's from. He's like, this is the way we do things. We like it. If you don't like it, move somewhere else. And that's a very American sentiment, which I really love. It even kind of takes a swing at San Francisco. that They don't let their hair grow long and shaggy like the hippies in San Francisco do. I think that that's American too. The fact there's a little bit of rivalry between different cities and different places or different states. In America, that's something that has always been true of America ever since the very inception and actually before it. We, we barely came together as a country because there was so much rivalry between the individual colonies. And so that's something that is very American. Number 12, Letters from Home by John Michael Montgomery. That's a great song. It's a tearjerker. It's hard to get through this one without getting a bad case of the feels. And I say this is someone that is not very emotional. But man, listening to this song... It just gives you a little bit of insight into some of the really difficult situations that military families have to go through with having their loved ones so far away and having to worry about whether or not they're all right. And it just gives some insight in that, especially the line where the, the mom is up late and can't sleep because she saw something on the news and thinks about, you know, what if my son's caught up in that battle, that kind of thing. And so it, it really just does give an insight into the amazing sacrifices that it, not just our service members, but also the families of our service members go through. And so because of that very American song, number 11, Fly Over States by Jason Aldean. America is the heartland. That's what this song is saying. It's, it's not trying to cast shade on people from the cities or whatever, but that's something that is very American. When you think of France, you think of Paris. When you think of Britain, you think of London. When you think of America, yes, yeah, some people think New York City. Some people think LA. But you know what most people think of when they think of America? They think of small town America. That's something that's very unique to us as a country. You know, they think about the heartland, or as Jason Aldean says in this song, uh, Harvest Moon in Kansas, or, or going through Oklahoma. Like, uh, the fact that small towns are what people think of when they think of our country is something that is very American. So that's all of our honorable mentions. Let's jump into the top 10. Number 10. Number 10 on this list, Pink Houses by John Cougar Mellencamp, or John Mellencamp, I guess now, since he doesn't like me using his middle name. John Mellencamp's Pink Houses, there's nothing more American than wanting to own your own home. And that's kind of what this is describing, the different events, the day-to-day -day things that are going on in the houses. And by the way, it doesn't paint it as always being perfect or pretty. Guys, that's America. America ain't perfect. There's problems here. And we understand that, but we work through them. And even though we have the problems and we acknowledge that there's issues there, we also acknowledge that what we have is pretty good. And that's kind of what Pink Houses is talking about. It's not always perfect. It doesn't try to paint it with rose-colored glasses, but there's people here that are very grateful for the lifestyle that they have, and that's kind of what this song speaks to. Number nine. Number nine, Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue by Toby Keith. This one just had to make the list, and the reason is because it's such a song that says, screw you to anybody that doesn't like it. <laughs> and the message here is American. It's like, look, as long as you don't mess with us, we won't mess with you. You start messing with us, we're going to kick your butt. 
Anything that you do to us, we're going to do to you 10 times over and we'll laugh about it the entire time. <laughs> and that's really what this song is about. It's, it's sort of capturing that American idea of leave us alone and we leave you alone. You mess with us, you're going to be sorry for it. Number eight. Number eight, We Won't Get Fooled Again by The Who. And this is one I think a lot of people mistakenly think is actually anti-American. It's not anti-American. It's anti-government. And this one, even more so than the last one we looked at that was anti-government, this one's anti-politician, which, if you ask me, makes it even more an American song. The idea that, oh, we just vote for these people and we vote for somebody else next time and they promise all these things and they don't do any of it. They don't keep their word and, well, we won't get fooled again next time. I mean, that's exactly the kind of situation this song is speaking to. It's saying, if you want things to change, if you want something to actually uh, get done in your community, you don't wait for the politicians to do it. You get out there, you do it yourself. That is something that is uniquely American. Number seven. Number seven, My Town by Montgomery Gentry. This is a fantastic fantastic song and it, it gives such a great illustration and it, it paints like such a word picture of what american life is like in these little towns all across our country there's this sense of community there that is really really important to this song it's talking about oh the thing that we all know about i love jenny is is painted on the water tower out there and the changes this community goes over and then at the end of the song it also extends what i think is the ultimate message of the song which is yeah this is our community we own it we like it here but you know what else we open up our arms and say this is our town and it hits on so many different parts of american life it hits on the community aspect it hits on uh, you know the the school and the family kind of aspect and then it hits on religion you know that that's the way that the, the church is over there everything's closed down on sunday it's kind of this glorification of small town america and because of that and i guess maybe because i'm a small town boy myself i absolutely love it it really does give an insight into what small town america is like number six number six on this list is david ball writing with private malone now, we talked about Letters from Home earlier, but man, this one is a tearjerker. It is hard to listen to this song. And again, I say this is somebody that is not really prone to emotion, but I think the best thing I could say about this song is that the car in the song is symbolic of the American dream. And sometimes that looks very different for different people because that car was a dream of the soldiers, but he never really got to live it out because he gave his life for his country, which is a very American theme in and of itself. But then that dream extends to the future generation. And so these two people, these two Americans who have never met each other, they didn't even live, they were not alive at the same time. They are connected by this thing, a car, which I mean, if you're going to do something to symbolize America, a car is a fantastic one. You know, you think about road trips, that's something that is, american as well the open road is sort of symbolic of freedom that kind of thing and so the fact that this thing binds them together is kind of like how america across generations across spectrums or, or beliefs or anything else it's supposed to bind us together it's supposed to show that we have a common interest because we essentially all want some of the same basic things and so that's really what this song is speaking to and the fact that it has the the patriotism and the sacrifice of people that have fought to keep us free in it, that is something else that just continues to contribute to it being so American. Number five. Number five on this list is American Heart by John David Kahn. And if this were a list of the most patriotic songs, I think this one would have to be number one because it is arguably the most patriotic song I've ever heard. It's talking about just being in love with the symbols of this country. It's being in love with what this country stands for. It talks about raising the flag, and I've got stars in my eyes. I'm in love with her, and I don't apologize for that. Number four. The 8th of November by Big and Rich. If you have not heard this song, sadly, you are missing out. This is one of the best songs ever written, in my opinion. I think it's one of the most American, obviously, because it's on this list, but it's just such a fantastic song. The music in it is really good. If you listen to the intro, 
by Chris Christofferson that tells the backstory of how the song was written because the guy in the story is a friend of Big Kenny, one of the two guys for Big and Rich. It just adds such a layer of depth. And the message of the song is freedom requires sacrifice. Freedom is not free. And there are a lot of people that have given an awful lot to be able to have this freedom. And so because of that, it gives you an appreciation for America, what it stands for, the people that have given an awful lot to that. And, and it talk, it's a very tragic song. It, it's not pretty. It's not feel good. A lot of these songs that we've talked about have been feel good. They're very ho hopeful. This one's really not. It's talking about the very real sacrifices men and women have had to make for centuries now to be able to make sure that we are able to stay free. And so it's just a great song that speaks to the sacrifices that they make and helps us to really appreciate our freedom. Number three. Number three on this list, It's America by Rodney Atkins. And I think the reason that this song is one of the most American ones is it, it talks about a lot of symbols that are important to American life, kids selling lemonade and a high school prom and uh, being able to, to ride out in a Chevy, that kind of thing, an American-made car. But ultimately, I think the message and, and the reason this is so clear, close to the top is because it's the little things. It's peace. You know, we've talked about, in, in fact, the last thing on our list was about wartime and struggle and that kind of thing. And those things are all part of America, too. But this song talks about the things that those men and women were fighting for. Ultimately, what it gives a picture of is that it's the little things in America that make up American life. It's not these big, grandiose events. It's the little day-to-day -day things that people out all over the country do every single day. And because of that, Rodney Atkins just so perfectly captures that. The music in it is great. And it gives you, I think, what the song describes as a, a postcard perfect picture view of what it's like to be in America. Number two. Number two on this list is Only in America by Brooks and Dunn. Now, this song has a lot of the symbolism that we just talked about from our number three pick. It's a lot of those uh, just kind of an overview of what American life is like. But even more than that, what this song is about is opportunity. It's saying, look, you, you dream as big as you want to. You can do anything you want to. It talks about the, the guy and the girl that go to L.A. to try to make names for themselves and become celebrities. And then they meet each other and fall in love and decide, you know what? It's just as good to go back to Oklahoma in the middle of the country and, and live a quiet life of peace and, and grow up with a family. It talks about very early on there's a bus full of school kids. And one might wind up serving life without parole. One might wind up in the White House somehow. And that's the thing. You don't know. It's a land of opportunity. If you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to try to actually make your dreams happen, you have the ability to do that here. Now, you, you got to put in the work. That's part of the deal. But ultimately, it says your fate is in your hands. That's what America is. It is the land of opportunity. And that's exactly what this song says and number one all right guys the number one most american modern song i think has got to be american pie by don mclean and granted it's like eight and a half freaking minutes long i love every minute of it but it, it's like eight and a half minutes long so you can understand why it does this better than the others it just has more time to work with but it puts up such a great image of what life in America is to be. And there's a lot of songs so far on this list that have done that too. This one does it the best. And the reason is because it incorporates life, culture, history, religion, all of that. It has sort of religious undertones and symbolism. And that's something that America has from its very onset. It talks about really big historic events. It talks about cultural phenomenons like the death of Buddy Holly, things like that. And so... It's got a lot of symbolism. It's very deep. You can dig into it all day long. And that's kind of the way that America is too, that you can kind of appreciate it on a surface level, or you can dig really deep and see some of the dark side of it, but even appreciate the history even more there. And so American Pie by Don McLean, I think there's no question that this one winds up at the top of this list because it's not just a microcosm of American life like several of the other songs we talked about are. It also 
talks about our entire history, our religion, what life in America was like at the time the song was written. And so it's just a fantastic look into the American soul and the American heart. And because of that, I think that it absolutely earns the top spot. So that's my list. I hope you enjoyed it. You may disagree with some of my picks. And if you do, you think maybe there's something I missed or I got the order wrong, feel free to fire off in the comment section. We always appreciate any feedback. If you're watching this because you liked this video, awesome. Be sure to like and subscribe and click that little notification bell. If you're a leftist that's only here to hate watch, hang on before you punch that dislike button. You see, I identify as a Hispanic woman, so if you dislike this video, that's literally violence against me and you are now guilty of a hate crime. Why do you hate beautiful trans people of color like me? What you gonna do now, Woke Brigade?